Welcome to knowledge rich and vibrant learning through LNT EduTech. Building upon LNT's rich experience in diverse areas, LNT EduTech offers accessible knowledge to empower our youth. Setting a new precedent for Nagpur, the pioneers of innovation, LNT EduTech and St. Vincent Polity College of Engineering and Technology joined forces to direct education to greater heights. These synergistic efforts promote collaborative research projects, internships with industry giants and exposure to global best practices which are now an integral part of the educational experience. It is a step towards the realization of our goal of converting engineering education to engineering excellence. Let us hear firsthand from the visionaries behind this transformative journey. Ma'am, it was our signal honor to have you today at our Polity campus. Uh, as we are the first institution in Maharashtra to collaborate with LNT Tech uh, uh, for our upskilling of our students, we look forward to this industry connect. To start with, in this uh, new age of education, how can uh, educators, according to you, collaborate with industries and employers to bridge the gap between the classroom learning and real-world skills Required in the workforce. So, um, thank you for that. I mean, it was my honor also visiting your campus, and the warmth and the hospitality was really awesome. Really enjoyed the visit. Um, I mean, your query itself is directly addressing to the very uh, purpose of our, uh, you know, partnership with uh, the institution. So. Um, LNT is an industry, at least I can talk about LNT as such as an industry uh, which is moving very fast in terms of the uh, technology as well as the uh, uh, execution of projects across uh, domains. So when you look at the academia and when you look at industry, every uh, period of time there is always there is something to catch up like the concept and the fundamentals are very well taught in the institutions but at the same time the applications in terms of minute detailing in every realm of industry be it uh, core engineering or IT so we may study something but when you come into the industry that application is not very direct right so that is what we are uh, you know the industry and the academia can collaborate to actually capture that and then reinforce the learning that is, uh, you know, uh, given in the colleges. That is how we can do it, and we are doing it uh, successfully. We are doing it, and I think that is the proof of the pudding. Uh, to go to a, a second level of the question, like the job market is evolving rapidly due to automation and artificial intelligence. How can education adapt to prepare students? for careers that may not even exist? See, uh, whatever be the disruption, whatever be the technology, uh, again, they're all applications. They're basically tools. That is what uh, personally I feel also. Say artificial intelligence. What is artificial intelligence? The word intelligence itself is something that comes from the human, right? So you are actually um, going a step ahead and then making the machines think like humans. For that, the intelligence again goes from the humans, right? So if humans first have the expertise and domain knowledge, then it, any problem you can make it, uh, you know, you automate it or call it machine learning, call it artificial intelligence, call it anything. But ultimately, first we have to be strong and then you can do it. So I think what we can do for the generations to come is to sensitize them that the domain expertise and solutioning mindset should be there. Whatever comes, we should actually prepare them like, you know, you don't uh, get into that frame of mind that something what you study becomes obsolete. There are a few things that we can still uh, categorize as, you know, what we may not use now. For example, you take a simple example in civil engineering surveying, which I keep saying. We go to the field and we used to measure, right? Yes. And it was a, a one day to measure so many acres and all we used to do. But today, uh, 
we actually use drones as well as uh, you know satellites and things like but doesn't mean that your knowledge of the feel of you know what a kilometer is or a square kilometer is you should not lose that so it's good to know the basics then look at it so i have done artificial neural networks in 1992 so those days there were computers are not like now we don't have emails we don't have google i mean internet but it was basically making the uh, system give uh, solutions for trusses like you know design of trusses so you give many problems you give hundreds of problems and then uh, you get a good answer when you make the machine learn so it's it's like today it has become big i mean i feel that once you have once you prepare we prepare our students you know to face that tomorrow anything can happen you tell me ola uber what is the business model that is not a traditional business model right so i think that is more important and students should not stick to what is being taught they should also look around uh, what is happening I think that's very important, and the solutioning mindset. Anything we have to look at it as a kind of thing where I can also give my solution, not just accept what is happening. I think that way they will be able to, whatever be the technology disruption, they'll be able to handle it. Thank you so much, ma'am, uh, for visiting us and giving a wonderful thought about how technology is changing, but uh, and uh, some like you know mantras for the students as well. how we can adapt these changes thank you so much ma'am and we see for this collaboration in the long run thank you so much look forward